In this video, I want to show you a new way of designing websites in a consistent, scalable, and consistent way. Now, usually when people design their websites, they would come over here, for example, to let's say this text module. They would go into this design tab, define the text font, perhaps maybe define the text color by coming over here, and maybe add their size. Or you might be a bit more advanced, you're using, uh, let's say, variables, you'd come over here to this variables icon and add it there. But what if I tell you that there is a new way of designing website? And by the way, this is inline editing. What I'm going to show you now is called class-based editing. And to achieve this, we are using a framework. This is a specific Divi 5 framework which is going to change the way you're going to design your websites using Divi 5. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you these classes and how easy and fast you can design your websites. So let's start off with this section right here. So if I click on this gear icon, instead of going over here to design and setting all our margins and our padding and so on, we're gonna head over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes. And over here on the class, we are going to add our class called Sec Hero or in short section hero. So just by doing that, we now have a hero section which has equal spacing or padding. And this padding is also fluid, which means as your screen gets smaller, you don't have to go in and make adjustments. Everything is automatic. And throughout this whole video, you're going to notice that I won't be touching these three icons. Our website is going to be automatically responsible. I've been responsive, <laughs> responsible. All right, so let's continue on and design this. So the next step now is to head over to this text right here. So I'm gonna click on it and we're gonna come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And by the way, I know that this text needs to be hero text. So I'm gonna say hero, no, I'm gonna say heading large. Okay, so I'm just gonna say heading dash L. I can also say, font, depending on how thick I want it to be, I can say font 800. Okay, so now it's a bit thicker. Excellent. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's centered over here. Then we're gonna move on to the next item, which is this description text. So in here now, I'm gonna go to advanced, CSS ID and classes. And this time I'm gonna say text dash M for medium. So I want my text to be medium, but of course I can change this to L, which is large, and I can also say XL, which is extra large. But in this case, we're gonna go with medium. So notice that as I'm entering all my classes, it is changing instantly. All right, so the next thing I need to do is to just make sure that this is centered as well. Boom. All right, so everything is centered now. The next thing is to add my button. So I'm gonna search for my button like that and set it. Okay, so next I'm just gonna make sure that again, this is centered. Now you're going to notice that Everything here seems like it is so close together. There's no padding. I mean, or there's no margins between all my elements. Now, this is done intentionally because we have a scale-based system for all your spaces. And all this is designed in such a way that it follows a scale. And this scale is what UI designers use to make sure everything looks proportional. So let's start off with the button here. So with our button selected here, I'm gonna to go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and then I'm gonna say empty for margin top, and I'm gonna set this to medium. Now you notice that I've just added my margin just by doing that. And by the way, this space that I've just added right now, the space is also fluid and responsive, which means it reduces in size as my screen gets smaller. Okay, let's move on to the paragraph here. I'm gonna select it. Again, I'm gonna to come to the advanced tab. And this time I'm gonna say MT for margin top dash L for large. I can leave it at medium if I want to like that. And pretty much I'm happy with what my heading looks like. All right, so let's move on to the next part here. So let's say I want to start working on my text here. So this needs to be a heading. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna come over here to advanced. CSS ID and classes. And I'm gonna call this heading dash L. In fact, I wanna make it XL. We want it nice and big 
Now you see that, nice and bold. Next, we're gonna take a look here at our paragraph text. And just like before, we're gonna come over here to advanced, CSS ID and classes. And this time I'm gonna call this text and medium. Okay, all right, so with this now, you may be thinking, well, what's gonna happen here with this uh, row? Well, you know, remember that uh, sizing that I used, the margin, it also works on the rows. So if I select my row here, I'm gonna to come to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and I'm gonna say empty for margin top dash, and this time I wanna go large, okay? And then for this one here, it's gonna be medium. So it's gonna be empty for margin top, and then this is gonna be medium, and the same applies here at the top, advanced, CSS ID and classes, and I'm also going to say empty for margin top, and I'm gonna say medium as well. All right, so my spacing now is looking really, really nice. Everything looks beautiful here. Now let's go ahead and add another section. So we're gonna click here and go regular. All right, so for this section here, I'm gonna add a single column. And in this column here, I wanna show you something really, really exciting. And all this is within the framework. So with this selected, I'm gonna go in and select a blurb and go like that. Okay, so now I have my blurb. Now you see my text here looks very, very small. If I select my settings here, I can go in and start making some adjustments here by coming over here to advanced. So if you wanna make this fluid, you just add SK. That's it, now my text is fluid and responsive. But as I'm looking at this, I can see my text here is a bit too big. Uh, maybe I'd like to change that. So I'm gonna come over here to my design tab. We're gonna head over now to my title text. Right now it's set to H4. I want that to be H5. Now you can see now it's slightly smaller. When it comes to my images here, this is where I'm going to decide whether I'm going to have an image or an icon. So let's go back. And this text is a bit too much here. So let's get rid of some of this text like that, okay. So for this now, uh, let's go with an image for this. So I'm gonna come over here, select an image. So the image I'm gonna go with is, let's say this one right here, upload image. So now I have my image. So far, so good. But what if we want to further customize this? Well, we can do that. But before we do that, let me show you what you can do to your sections. I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, go to advanced, CSS ID and classes, and I have a scale of colors, my grayscale colors, and to add these is BG dash gray, right? And then I'm gonna say gray 100. Look at that, now I have this slight gray to my background to just distinguish my sections, which is fantastic. So with this now, I wanna further customize my blurb over here, so I'm gonna select it, now look at this, and all this is happening in line. I'm not going into my design tab to do anything. I'm gonna come over here to CSS ID and classes. So the next class I'm going to add is padding. So I'm gonna say PAD, and my padding here, let's go with large to begin with, but I also want to add a background color. So I'm gonna say BG dash gray, and I'm gonna go with gray 300. Let's see what that looks like. So you can do this in real time as you're designing, which is really, really good. So let's go with 400. Okay, so we're gonna leave it at 400 so that we can see exactly what we're doing. So with that now, let's say you want to add, you know, some border radius, you can say RAD for radius, dash, and I'm gonna go medium. And you can see there, I've just added my medium. So why is this important that I'm designing this website like this? Now, can you imagine, let's say you have a design agency or you have, you're a freelancer and you wanna go in and update your websites. Now, imagine how many clicks you have to do in order for you to achieve what I'm achieving here. That's gonna be a lot of clicks. So all you have to do is to memorize or at least to learn all these classes. And once you master these classes, pretty much you are going to be designing websites really fast. So at this stage, you're probably asking me, well, Mac, how do I know what class to use where? Well, there's a reference over here. Look at this. So this reference here, now remember, I was entering heading dash L, which is heading large, heading dash 2XL. 
So all these are the sizes. If I want to go to my font weights, you can see here, these are all my font weights. Font 100, font 200. And this scale here is our scale of how bold our font is going to be. Background colors, look at that. So we have background for primary, accents, background white, black, and we also have our gray colors here. So all these, now margins, look at this. This is where I was getting my MT for margin top dash S. So that means margin top small. So all you need to do is to go over this scale. And if you have a team, this is what your team needs to memorize or at least practice on so that you remember this every single time. Now, once you've achieved that, this is where now you can come in here and start designing your sign. So look at this. So let's say I'm happy with that. All I have to do now is maybe I want three of these. I can duplicate these. So now I have three. In fact, why don't we go for four? Okay, I'm going to go with four. So what we can do now, instead of having four columns like that, we are going to use a special command. So I'm going to click here on this section, uh, row settings. And I'm going to come over here to this column and go to advanced. Now, if I go to CSS ID and classes, I can now define my class, which is going to be grid. So this is now totally different. So I'm going to say grid and I'm going to say grid auto. Oops, I missed the dash. And this is important because if you miss the dash, it won't show uh, correctly. So now I have grid auto. So with grid auto now, that means every time I add anything over here, it just pretty much fits in place. So right now it looks the way it does because my section is not big enough. So why don't we go in and increase this a little bit? So we're going to come over here, advanced, CSS ID and classes. And I think it's SK container. Yes, there we go. So now I have four of my blurbs right here which is fantastic. So I know I mentioned that I will not be touching these tabs here because this is where you go to make your adjustments for your different uh, screen sizes. So when you use SiteCrafter Pro, there's no need to do that because everything is set up for you to make sure that your site is fluid. So check this out. If I now save this, okay, I'm now going to uh, head over here, refresh this. Now let's test this and see if this is going to work. So now if I start making this smaller, watch the text. As my screen is getting smaller, my text is also getting smaller. And now we're at a stage where this is pretty much a mobile site. So when I scroll down, look at that. Everything just fits in place. Look at that. How cool is that? So our websites are automatically going to be responsive, just like that. So my text is responsive, everything on my site. I mean, let's take a look here as well quickly. You notice here, my text is getting smaller. Where is it? There we go. It's getting smaller. That's because it's fluid. So our websites are always going to look amazing at all screen sizes using this framework. So now you may be asking, so this framework, does it get updated often? And the answer to that is yes. So every time a DV has an update, we make sure that this framework is working great and there's um, no issues with it. So it is actively being worked on. And also just so that you know, when you purchase this, and by the way, it has a special discount. Okay, I'm going to leave a link to that in the video description below. So it is on a 40% um, off at the moment. It's 167. But what you're getting for 167 is access to the community. Okay, the Sidecrafter community. There's a lot that's, that's going to be done here in the Sidecrafter community, designing websites, workshops, you name it. So this comes in in a theme. And then over here, you have unlimited updates. You also have unlimited websites you can use this on, unlimited support. It also comes with a web design course. So if you head over here, 
Now, this is Divi University. You'll have automatic access to this. So if we head over here now to the courses, you're going to notice that we have our Site Crafter Pro course. Already, there's 131 students. And if you head over here, there's 18, 18 um, lessons. But I'm constantly adding to these. So let's say you want to try out keyboard navigation or you want to know how it works. If you click on that, you're going to notice that this is a video that shows you how keyboard nav navigation actually works. So what I have touched on today is pretty much a fraction of what Sidecrafter can do. There's a lot that can be done here. There's keyboard navigation. Uh, there's also new features in the pipeline that are going to be coming out soon. But as you can see, if you're a design agency or you're a freelancer, Designing your websites this way is going to ensure that you have speed, you also have consistency, and overall, it is very easy for you to train your team on how to design websites using DV5. So in my opinion, this is a much better approach to designing your websites using DV5, which is uh, you know pretty much upcoming, and I'm really excited about this product. So go ahead and take advantage of this uh, offer. It's 40% off. The price is definitely going to go up and it won't be on a lifetime uh, license because of course I need um, developers to help me with this and, and developers need to get paid. So obviously it cannot be unlimited for, I mean, lifetime forever. So take advantage of this. And like I said, as soon as possible, this is going, this offer is going to go because DV in a few months is going to be out of alpha into beta and pretty much once we get to that stage we are off to greater depths i'm really excited with this product so go ahead check it out the link to that is in the video description below take care thanks